19 by Bar Sulam. What is that the Creator hates the bodies in the work? Sometimes a person despises this work of receiving the uh, the wor work of above reason, which is the feeling of darkness. darkness. When he sees that he, there's no one who can for the Creator. It's even more so. On the one hand, I see that the state that I'm in, it's darkness. I need to justify this uh, state that's, that is on the path. There is no state which is not on the path. And the fact that it comes and it comes on the path, it comes from the Creator. And it comes, you know, to promote me towards the Creator, even though the state itself can be terrible. Right? We're reading 21. Then he takes upon himself the kingdom of heaven above reason, as an ox to the burden, and as a donkey to the load. That is... I don't demand anything for myself, but only to advance for the benefit of the group and through it to the Creator. One should be glad that now he has what to give to the Creator. His devotion, his dedication above his own benefit, because he doesn't have any self-benefit. The Creator helped him. He gave him the taste of dust then the person is not concerned about him uh, robbing something, stealing something for himself, but rather if he can work in such a way where he has no flavor, no attraction towards spirituality, if and nevertheless performs some actions, it is considered that he is doing it as an oxen, an ox of the bird, then as an donkey to the load, meaning as a beast working for the sake of men. Just like we can uh, work for the Creator. Let's say I have many hours during the day where I cannot think about the group, I cannot think about the Creator, I don't think about anything. Or I engage in all kinds of nonsense in my life, I fill my life with all kinds of things that are unrelated to spiritual development, and this is a time when I'm vacant, right? When I'm free. This is the big problem. Yes. But one does not always have the strength to say, sorry, and one should be glad that now he has something to give to the Creator, and the Creator enjoys him having something to give to the Creator. But one does not always have the strength to say that this is beautiful work called adornment, but he despises this work. Because he has no flavors in it. He doesn't feel that he's becoming wiser, understanding more, feeling more, nothing. So what am I working for? What am I doing? I invested, let's say, an hour or two in some study, reading some uh, something or books, doing something. Nothing came out of it. Yes. This is a harsh condition for one to be able to say that he chooses this work over the work of whiteness. Meaning that he is not sense a taste of darkness during the work. But then one feels a taste in the work. It means that then he does not have to work with the will to receive, to agree to take upon himself the kingdom of heaven above reason. This is the problem. We need to pay attention. There is a lot of time during the day for each one of us when a person doesn't feel an inclination to engage in the wisdom of Kabbalah, right? And uh, it just remains this way, like a log of wood. He doesn't care about anything. He just fills himself up with uh, you know, playing on the computer, watching TV or something. And a lot of times pass like this. And it's well known. So here is the problem. It's more worthwhile in such states to tie yourself to the ten. And through the computers today, we're all connected between us. And immediately to engage in something, do something, study something, build something, or at least engage together in dissemination. Each will help his friend. In such states, we truly need to constantly uh, pressure the friends to 
take part. Because specifically in such st states, such times, we are missing a lot, losing a lot in our spiritual advancement. If he does overcome himself and can say that this work is pleasant to him, that now he is observing the mitzvah of faith above reason, work as beauty and adornment, this is called a joy of mitzvah. So we need to be concerned, and especially I'm turning to those who today, meaning on each and every day, those who are shots and gabai, they should care about this. And here it's more the work of the gabai than the shots to arrange each and every gabai in his ten should arrange it so that all of the free time will be full with uh, common efforts towards study, searching, uh, dissemination, each and everything that is related to spiritual development.